Welcome to another episode of Simply Sarah. Today in the show, we're going to make our strawberry shortcake poke cake. We're going to make our cake from scratch. So, in this bowl, I've got two and a half cups of all purpose flour, two and a half teaspoons of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix it together. This is our dry ingredients. Okay, now we're going to come over and do our wet ingredients. In this bowl, I've got a three-fourths cup of butter. It is softened at room temperature. It's really hot in our house, so it's really melting. Um, one and a half cups of sugar. I'm using Splenda, but feel free to use any kind of sugar. Two teaspoons of vanilla, and we're just going to mix this together. Now it goes in three large eggs. And we're going to mix that in. Now we're going to alternate our flour mixture and one fourth cup of milk. We're going to alternate into our mix and mix it with the mixer. And uh, my milk I'm using. I had cashew milk that needs to be used up, so that's what I'm using. You can use regular milk, any kind of milk that you have on hand. Some of our flour, half of our flour. The rest of our flour. And if you don't know by now, this is a basic yellow cake mix recipe. But if you have box cake mix in your pantry, it don't have to be yellow. It can be white for this cake that we're doing. I'm all out. Usually you have a chocolate, yellow, and a white in the pantry. But I need to stock my pantry back up. So, we're going to do it basic style. Alright, we have a grease 13 by 9 baking pan. I'm just putting my batter in. Spread it out. If you're using a box cake mix, just follow the back of the package into a 350 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for about 28 to 35 minutes. Alright, now let this make our feeling that we're going to poke in the cake. We need the large box of strawberry jello, or two boxes of the small. We need a hawk. One cup of hot water to dissolve it, and then I've got my cold cup of water on the side. We get this jello dissolved, and then we'll add our one cup of cold water. I'm gonna leave that sitting for a minute. I'm gonna take a fork and start poking holes in the cake. Do you want all that goodness of that strawberry jello to go down in them holes? It's all right if it tears up like that because we're going to cover it too with like a like a frosting. Okay, our jello should be dissolved now. So in goes our cup of cold water. Pour it over the cake and then it's gonna soak into all the little holes. I'm gonna cover it with the lid, the, the cake pan lid, and then that's gonna go in the refrigerator, set up and soak into the cake for a chill for at least four hours. In a bowl, I have whipped eight ounces of cream cheese that was softened at room temperature, and I kind of whipped it with a mixer. Now we're going to put in a half of a pint is what I have left of heavy whipping cream, a teaspoon of vanilla extract, two to three tablespoons of some sugar. I'm using Splenda, and now we're just going to mix. Stop and scrape the sides of your bowl. You want to beat it until it's real thick, like this. See how it holds up? This cake did not rise like it was supposed to. I got this cake from Pinterest, the scratch cake recipe, and I'm not happy with it. So I'm not using that recipe again. Normally a cake rises, so if you use cake mix or use another yellow or white scratch cake mix, it should rise real good. Okay, we brought our cake out of the refrigerator. Now we're just going to plop on our icing and spread it out. Now don't worry about if some of the cake pokes through because we've got a topping we're going to put on top of the frosting. But I got to thinking, like I said, a yellow or white cake mix or even a chocolate cake because chocolate and strawberry goes good together because you got to think chocolate covered strawberries. Now we're going to come up with some strawberries. 
I just sliced up and chopped. Now my strawberries look weird because I have to peel my strawberries like you do a potato because I can't have the seeds. We have some people on in our household that can't have seeds because of diverticulitis issues. And I thought I had a lot more strawberries but I think somebody got in them. So you put as much strawberries as you want on your cake. I also, after I chopped and sliced my strawberries, I put a couple tablespoons of some sugar which I use Splenda, and let it make its juices. I really wanted it loaded with strawberries, but we didn't get it. You can also chop up some strawberries and put them in your batter if you really wanted to. There you have it, strawberry shortcake poke cake. You can see where the jello soaked into the cake. You can see it better in the side of the pan, see? And you don't have to make this frosting. If that's just too much for you, then just top it with some sweetened whipped cream or Cool Whip. Now your cake, you have to store this in the refrigerator because of the frosting or if you put cool up on top. It has to stay in the fridge. 